The leprechaun uh, got his dick in the monkey's ass, and Morgan comes running in going, I don't mind it! <laughs> <laughs> We're like, yeah, believe you brought Skyler here. We're fucking all bombed and drinking. I know, Morgan. It's a real rarity we'd be all drinking. You know, my Uncle Marty drinks. Yeah. I'm going to Bender for six, eight months. Yeah. Ever tell you what happened to him when he was driving up there and he got pulled over? I told you guys, right? Yeah, it's Marty, yeah. Yeah. Let me yeah. tell you, but let me tell you what happened to my Uncle Marty because just because you ought to know this. He's always he's telling stories over here. Every time we come here, he's got another story, but we all heard the story. Go ahead. Let's say it anyway. Go ahead. <laughs> I will go ahead. Thank Thanks a lot. <laughs> yes, I have the floor now. Um, yeah, my Uncle Marty's driving home, right? Bombed out of his tree, right? Just hammered out of his gourd. Just cracked. State trooper uh, sees him and pulls him over. So my uncle's fucked, basically. We got him out of the car, trying to make them walk the line. He gets out of the car, you know, pukes on the guy. Stated pretty sure he's over the legal limit. So he's about to throw the cuffs on him. Put him in jail. And all of a sudden, 50 yards down the road, there's this huge fucking boom, right? So Stady gets real spooked and he turns around. You got shot? No, no. some. some <laughs> you heard this story <laughs> again. <laughs> some other guy's car had hit a tree. Okay, there was an accident. <coughs> anyway. How could he hear the other shot? Shut up! I'm gonna break your neck. Shut up! Okay, shut up! Sorry, he before. told you the story once before. So he tells my uncle, stay here. Don't move. So Stady goes running down the road to deal with the other accident. After a few minutes of, of just lying in his own piss and vomit, my uncle starts wondering what he's doing there. Gets up, gets in his car, and just drives home. Well, the next morning, my uncle's just passed out. And he hears this knock at the door. So he goes downstairs, like and pulls the door over. What? It's the state trooper that pulled him over. Stady's like, what do you mean, what? You know what? I pulled you over last night is what? You fucking took off. He's like, bitch, I never seen you before in my life. I've been home all night with my kids. I don't know who the <laughs> fuck you are. He's like, you know who I am. Let me get in your garage. And I was like, what? He's like, you heard me. Let me get in your garage. I was like, all right, fine. Takes him out of the garage, <laughs> opens the door, and there's <laughs> the Stady's police cruiser is in my uncle's garage. <laughs> is that fucking over? He was so fucking hammered, he drove the wrong car home. <laughs> and the best part about it is the fucking state trooper I had been so embarrassed, he didn't do anything. He'd been driving around all night in my uncle's Chevelle, looking for the house. All right, Chuck, what the fuck is the point of your story? No, he got away. That's the point. What all right, what nice well, here. question. Are you, Come on, are you stop. Fucking, I'm, you know, I'm trying you're, to clarify something, probably. You're, you're embarrassing, too embarrassed though. to ask, and you know, it doesn't make any sense. It does make sense if you listen to the story and quit asking questions. Morgan, let's see if you can get this one. I've got a little story for you. <laughs> all right, there's an old couple in bed. Mary and Paddy, and they wake up on the morning of their 50th anniversary. And Mary looks over and gazes adoringly at Paddy. She's like, oh, Jesus, Paddy. You're such a good-looking fella. I love you. I want to give you a little present. Anything your little heart desires, I'm going to give it to you. What would you like? Paddy's like, God, gee, Mary, that's a very sweet offer. No. In 50 years, there's one thing that's been missing. And uh, I would like you to give me a blowjob. <laughs> I would like one. And Mary's like, all right. She takes the teeth out, puts them in the glass, and she gives him a blowjob. And afterwards, Paddy's like, oh, jeez. Now that's what I've been missing. That was the most beautiful, earth-shattering thing ever. Beautiful, Mary, I love you. Is there anything that I can do for you? Mary looks up at him and she goes, Give us a kiss. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that's not that filthy. I've heard filthy. <laughs>